Okay, I think I'm on. I think we are live. Please tell me if you can see me, if I have gone live, because um, I never know with Facebook. <laughs> hey, everybody. So I will be doing uh, the live broadcast both, uh, or I should say all three, from Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram in just a moment, as soon as I know that people are here. Yes. Hey, Eduardo. Thanks for saying something. Hey, Tim from Portland, Oregon. All right. Let's go live on the other platforms as well. Hey, everybody. Welcome to McKellar Motivational Monday. Today's Monday. My last name is McKellar. So I like to do this sort of motivational talk and we talk about stuff that's different every week. I mean, it's usually has a similar theme in that we're trying to like have a better week, have a better experience, be our best selves. And, and, and we come together to chat about some ideas and every week the theme is slightly different. This time I want to talk about this idea of embrace the suck. Embrace the suck when things are hard. Just embrace it. Just embrace it. But you know, what? you know what? That's okay. I'm up to my knees in mud. I'm gonna just okay. I'm gonna embrace this. I'm gonna just get a little farther down in the mud and really get get stronger and like keep walking. <laughs> this is this is something that for me has helped in so many ways. When I'm just like, especially this last year, things have been so hard in so many ways, and I was like, you know what? But maybe this is what we're built for. It is easier said than done, absolutely. Although, one thing that I will say is part of embracing the suck is just like saying it. Saying it to yourself. That's half the battle, really. Just deciding to not be beaten down by stuff. Just deciding, oh, maybe this is what I was built for. Maybe I should run head first into things that are difficult or uncomfortable or unpleasant. Because here's the other thing. How many of you guys, and I'll do shout outs in just a moment. How many of you guys have like been going through a hard time? You're wishing things were better. And then when things are better, there's a part of you that's like worried about when things aren't going to be good again. And then you don't really enjoy the good stuff. Any of you guys experienced that? I know there's always a delay. Thank you so much, Norman. Norma Jean, what a great name. I hope you had a great Easter as well. Yes, indeed. They say that God doesn't give us anything we can't handle. Yes, same old 2009, you've experienced that. Yeah, it's like you're afraid of one thing you have, you have Douglas. Yeah, so, so for me, one of the things that helps me to enjoy the stuff that's good is to go, you know what? When things take a turn, because they always do, things turn up, big things go up and down, that's just how life is, I can handle it. I've handled stuff before and I'm gonna be able to handle it. In fact, I'm gonna embrace it. I'm gonna say, this is uncomfortable, maybe this is a growth area. <laughs> like just just em embrace the suck. And I, and, I have to, and I think this comes from the Marines. Pretty sure it comes from the Marines where they're literally going through like just physical, you know, just torture. <laughs> just stuff where they are put in really hard situations because it's going to be really hard situations when they're in battle and so they're the training is that they just they're stuff thrown in the middle of it they're standing out there's that great video if you guys have seen it of this the admiral i think it's the marines i don't remember for sure which branch of the military uh he was in but he was speaking at a commencement he was doing a commencement address and he was talking about how he and his his um team were like having this punishment where they are literally in freezing mud up to their necks overnight which sounds horrible but that that once they embraced it once they said okay but you know what they st and they started singing they started singing and i forget what the song was they were singing and it's amazing the human spirit is incredible and we are beaten down or lifted up in our own minds and hearts before it actually happens so i'm saying let's embrace it admiral mcgraven is that what his name was and by the way, uh, speaking of things that are hard and uncomfortable to look at, one of the, the um, issues that's going on, and unfortunately it's going on even more now because of the lockdown, um, and um, hopefully as the lockdown lifts up, it will also start to improve, but child trafficking, it happens online, it happens all over, and that it happens, uh, this is, child trafficking is where kids are um, forced to do labor or um, are raped for money and um, it's the thing that's so hard to think about 
because it's so uncomfortable, it's so horrible that a lot of us try not, not to think about it. Um, but there are some great organizations that are doing a lot of thinking about it and a lot of work. And one of them is Our Rescue. That's O-U-R Rescue. They actually physically go into other countries often and, and rescue these kids from these situations. I'm doing a fundraiser for them over on Instagram. So if you're on Instagram, really appreciate it. There's already some donations. I will give a shout out. Even $5 makes a difference. It really does. Um, so that's over here on, on uh Instagram. Thank you, Sarah Brittany Berger. You donate $10 every single time. I notice you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Omega 5 for $7. Thank you, Diane Share 4 for $10. Thank you, Joe Washington for $25. Thank you so much. Thank you, Mills X2 times 2 for $25. Thank you so much. And thank you for Trisha Floyd for $10. You guys are amazing. We've already raised $87. How about that? Uh, and I've only been on for a few minutes. So, um, and I'll continue to do uh, shout outs uh, here and there during this. I'm not going to be on for very long today, you guys. I really want to tell you about this idea and this expression of embrace the suck. How can we embrace the suck? Yes, Andrea, we don't know how strong we are until we have to be. And I think a lot of us were tested this last year. A lot of us were tested. Uh, somebody just uh, sent me the name of another organization they think is great. Please send that to me. Uh, DM it to me. Diana, you're you're dealing with COVID right now. Feel better. Get lots of rest. Uh, I don't know how serious it is, but I I've heard that lying on your stomach it's called proning. I'm not a doctor, obviously, but take a look at it. They say that lying on your stomach uh, has helped um, some patients. Again, don't take my word for it. It's just something I heard, and for some reason I was just inspired to tell you that I heard about that. Uh, take care of yourself. You'll get through this. Most people do. The vast majority of people do. So just believe that and know that. The pandemic taught you a lot, Nolan. A lot of people yeah, it taught us a lot. That is absolutely true. Yeah, sometimes it taught us things we didn't want to know. And like for me, I learned a lot about child trafficking. I took the opportunity to learn more about it. And I didn't really want to hear it. But I was like, yeah, but if you don't want to look at it, then these kids are all by themselves with nobody to help them. How can you donate from Mexico? I don't know, but if you go to the Our Rescue website, I bet they have a way. So it's O-U-R and then R-E-S-C-U-E. Yes, I am sharing uh, on Twitter, also Facebook and Instagram. And Instagram, the live, that's the one where I'm doing the donations because that's how I know how to do it. Thank you, Corin from Utah. I appreciate that. I agree, Dominic. It is sick. I'm seeing, oh yes, make your bed. That's exactly it. That is the that is the uh, the video I was talking about, the one where I heard about embrace the suck. David, you can donate over on Instagram. And wow, we're up to 182. Thank you so much, Leanne Tilly for $25. Thank you, Melanie B. Jennings for $10. Thank you, Dave1466 for $25. I remember that name too. Thank you, Rita R. Wheeler25. For ten dollars, thank you, Sonia CN twenty six seventeen for twenty five dollars. You guys are amazing. Already up to one hundred eighty two bucks. How about that? And this, you know, for for a situation of stuff that we don't want to think about, it's nice to know that some people are dedicating their lives to it, and that we can help support them. <laughs> Biggest thing you learned is how uncomfortable masks are, and why would anyone want to be a surgeon? Well, <laughs> yeah. I think every job has its ups and downs. That's so true, Lisa. When we think our lives suck, it's truly in our head. Sucks compared to who? Look at what you have. Go back to the basics. I totally agree, Lisa. Uh, sometimes we get so caught up in what we are expecting that we should have. And then when that is, some of it is taken away from us, we, we stop seeing all the blessings that we do have. I tell my son this all the time. He's 10 years old and I just don't think it's ever too soon to start understanding that, understanding that everything is relative. Uh, Alzimo, there should be a button for donating if you're, you're on Instagram, so you should be able to see it. Yes, reporter, yes. Every, every suffering is relative, absolutely true. Yeah, the kid who, you know, grows up in a wealthy house, 16 year old kid who's who's been told since he was five that he was getting a Ferrari for 16th birthday <laughs> and then it doesn't happen, he's going to be devastated, right? 
And yet you'd be like, well, dude, look at your house. Look at your life. How could you be upset about anything? And that could be true. Think you, anyone who is watching this most likely is in a situation that there are a lot of people who just died to be, to have the things that you have and to be where you are. We got to remember that. And also that security is an illusion. So if we think, oh, but we might be losing such and such. Security was always an illusion. We got to be in the moment, appreciate what we have. And when things get tough, go, oh, this is what I was built for. This is what I've been preparing for. I'm built for this. I can embrace the suck. Just knowing that you can and telling yourself that is really half the battle. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that, Jason. I was extremely close to my grandmother and, and I know how hard that can be. My grandmother passed away 10 years ago now. I still think about her every day and you will think about your grandfather every day and he will be with you. Yes, oh my gosh, wow, $287 already. Thank you so much to Brian Rook for $50. 50, that's so generous, thank you so much. And again, even $5 is so appreciated and it, it all adds up. Uh, thank you, Howard Troy, 1982 for $25. Thank you, Louis to Louis or Louis to Louis for $10. Thank you, Steel V4 for $10. And thank you, D Dunn, 1966 for $10. Thank you all so much. 287 already raised for our rescue. These guys help to rescue kids from human trafficking situations. Thank you, Sarah Brittany Berger, for another $5. Thank you so much. 292, we're almost 300. That's pretty good. 300 in, what was this? It's been 11 minutes. Look over here on Facebook, which I wonder what she's talking about, says John. You know, I've never heard that ever before in my life. <laughs> Very funny. Right? John Yuri says he is disabled, um, but he loves every day like it's his last. Always happy. Feeling sad about situations you can't fix just makes things worse. If I haven't defined what embrace the suck means, can I please? It means that when you're, here's the situation. A lot of times when we're in a situation that's hard, we suffer twice for it. We're sad about, we're, we're having a hard time and then we're going, look at the situation I'm in. Look at how bad this is. And so we're reflecting and making it worse by thinking about how bad it is instead of embracing it and being, you know what? Okay, this sucks, but I'm not going to feel sorry for myself. I'm not going to think about how bad this is. I'm going to know there's lots worse situations out there and I'm just going to embrace this and say, I'm strong enough for this. Let's go. Let's go. Let's do this thing that's super hard and uncomfortable. Let's do this and let's make it the best it's, you could ever be. Let's um, embrace it. Say, thank you for this opportunity to challenge myself. Really embrace it and, and, and love it. And <laughs> I'm telling you, even just saying embrace the suck helps. Wow, 21 donations. We are up to $357. Let's give some more shout outs. Thank you so much, Hacker Paulette, for $10. Thank you, Altismo21, for $10. Thank you, Blue Cello, for $25. Thank you, Morgan Hostetler, <laughs> for $10. Thank you, Steve Pingleton, for $20. Thank you so much, everyone. Wow, $367. Yeah, keep your chin up. It makes you stronger, Trish. I completely agree. Hi, Brianna. You guys are awesome. Thank you for everything. Twitter has such a hard time for some reason these days. Um, I hope I hope the I hope you can see me on Twitter. <laughs> right? Thank you, Wing Spread Fright. I'm so glad you like it. Same with you, Dennis. Oh my gosh, my pleasure. Well, I appreciate all of your perspectives, and uh, yeah, that's true, Edward. We don't realize what we have till it's lost. That can be very true. And I remember hearing about that when I was little, thinking. I'm not, that's not going to be me. That's not going to be me. I'm going to make sure to enjoy everything and embrace everything. Of course, it's easier said than done, but at least we can try. Yes, warriors. Yes. You know what? A great, somebody asked me to define embrace the suck. A great way to think of it is, is identify as a warrior when you're in a situation that's really tough. Like, oh, 
but I'm a warrior and let's let's show off how much of a warrior I am right now. Let's embrace this and not be afraid of it, not shy away from it. And then when you are not afraid of tough things, then when you're having a good time and things are going well, then you're not going to be as afraid of when things aren't going to go when they're not going to go well. Because you'll know you're going to be fine regardless. That's one of the best parts of it. It's not just for that moment. It's not just for the moment of embracing the suck and getting through that. It's also about all the other moments where you have more and you're and you are more comfortable. You don't have to be afraid of when things aren't comfortable. No, Robert, you don't have to go after the hard stuff. You don't have. Well, I mean, you don't. Looking going going after challenges is good. You don't have to go after a job you hate. Unfortunately or fortunately, life will hand us plenty of challenges and plenty of moments to exercise the embrace the suck muscle. We don't have to go looking for it. You guys, thank you so much for all of everything, all of your comments. Thank you for all the donations. I think I thanked everyone. Yes, I did. Uh, you guys are great, and I appreciate all of you so much. Remember, whatever life throws at you this week, you can handle it. In fact, you can embrace it and be better and stronger for it. Love you all and have a wonderful week. Bye.